Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be working on the lovely Heavenly and we're going to be doing a massage for the erector spinae and the QL a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. This is going to be a shorter video. So this is kind of to give you guys a sense of if I'm a little crunched for time, this is how I might approach um, work on these different areas. And I feel like it's worth saying that um, I am pregnant right now and especially with techniques that I'm using um, that I would typically use for the erector spine A, I would never wear a ring. So I'm pregnant and my hands are swollen, so I'm just going to have to make it work. But um, definitely encourage um, ring-free hands if you can trying to do this routine at home. So I'm just going to start with some really nice long strokes along the spine. And um, not trying to, sometimes new therapists can try to apply um, the same amount of pressure going up as on the downstroke and it doesn't always work out that well. So really focusing on a nice firm position on the way down and then kind of loosening my grip a little bit just so I can maintain a really nice flow. And throughout this massage, I might be twisting my ring around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start working a little bit deeper. And really working my way onto the sacrum. There's a lot of connective tissue around the hips that uh, respond really well to this technique. I'm just going nice and slow. I'm going to start doing um, more focused work. I'm going to start in on this right side. And I like to um, bring that stroke all the way into the hips a little bit and along the sacrum and I, I'm going to go in with my forearm so these are all techniques that you have a lot of control and you don't have to worry about um, the spine really. So these are just really great if you're new to massage, if you want to learn some techniques. Um, when you're on the side of the table and you're using your forearm, working the way down, it's just really easy to feel comfortable. So. You do need to be careful when you start working towards the spine. You just need to start, um, just takes a little bit more focus. So this is a really nice way to warm up everything. Um, feels really stable. And there's a few different techniques that you can use for these erector spine. Um, I did say I would include a little bit of QL work. So, um, you, it's relatively easy to find. So just 
kind of above that iliac crest and this last floating rib and kind of it's right in there and my favorite way to um, at least begin work on this muscle is just steamrolling so you can just use both of those fists working the way down so every body is different you just want to be careful that you're not hitting the rib at all so you might need to use one one hand depending on the body that you're working on I'm definitely not going to do any deep tissue today this is more um, general general approach I would take and it's a really nice way to tie into um, working more in depth along the erector spinae. So this is another technique where it feels really stable. So you have, you're working with a nice broad surface area and you can really lean in. So more than pressing down, I'm really focused on pressing in towards the spine and down. Nice firm pressure here. This is really good if you're working on someone that's ticklish as well. So there's a couple ways that you can start to zero in a little bit more. So you can actually, um, if this feels really comfortable, then you can start to kind of use your arm like a lever if you want to do trigger point along the spine. And I'll usually angle my forearm out a little bit. So you, you do need to be careful, especially if these muscles feel extra taut, if they're really tight, you can slip off and you can hit the spine. So you just want to make sure that you feel really stable as you're working. Another technique that I really like is if I feel like I have better leverage with my opposite elbow, then I'll just protect the spine. So I'll cut my elbow and start working my way up. This technique doesn't usually work very well if your client's ticklish or your friend's ticklish. You just kind of have to find what works best for you. Even if my focus is just is more on the erector spinae, I try not to um, I try to include some nice broad strokes. So just really, I want my client to feel more expansive. And uh, and I like to go back and forth between different techniques, especially when I'm working um, in a more detailed way. Just for myself too, I like to give myself a little break so mentally this is a lot easier and less demanding. So I might do a few strokes and taking a break doesn't mean like checking out or not being present, just, just taking a moment. And I would say of all these techniques, my favorite is probably this one, just cause you have the option of working more broadly or working more locally and feels really stable. This is also really good for if someone has anxiety, just feeling um, that broad pressure and just really sinking down can feel really reassuring somehow. Always when you're working closer to the table, closer to your client, you wanna make sure that your stance is nice and wide and that you're not um, straining in your low back. Okay. 
and you can also do little micro movements with paired fists, but you do need to be careful not to hit any ribs on your way down. This is a great way to stretch out the connective tissue along the spine a little bit. You could do this with your thumbs on the opposite side of the table. And before we wrap up today, I'd like to thank a few of our patrons. I'd like to thank Gregory Farr, Philip Shaw, and Al C. Thank you guys so much for your support. So I'm just doing one side today to give you guys an idea of a routine that I often use for the erector spine and the QL, but definitely do the other side if you're doing this at home. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out our Patreon page where you'll find some exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com.